live within your means. There is no harm in you living within your means. If it means you're part yeah, you know what we gonna be, be no. Baby, no let international, oh, oh. Baby, na le ma kuka penda na na ya Baby, na le ma kuvala ma suti kubele kadele ma moto ka Kadele ma moto ka Awo mwande na le ma Baby, na le ma kuka penda Na ma kuka penda Na ma kuvala ma suti kubele kadele ma moto ka Kadele ma moto ka Kuti saba ni konde ka Girl, I want you to love me for me Girl, I want you to love me Hi guys, it's your girl Lela Matams, also known as Gelo Up Z. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and watching this particular video because I have a very special message for everyone out there. As you can see, I am talking about Ann Kansimi's former manager named Johnson Mujungu and his wife Grace. I have met this couple before here in the UK when I was trying to host an event in Zambia with Ankansimi, which was a success with another team in Dollar, and then we had cancelled the Lusaka show and everything. But then I got to know them and in 2015 they were hosting an event where they were planning to bring Mumpy over and then I don't know how things went between them and Mumpy. I think Mumpy had traveled to America at that time. And since then, I wasn't even really attending their events. I haven't even really attended their events. And and, and they, they ran this uh, talent management company called Grajo. So Grace and... Um, Johnson Mojongo and they were managing quite a few artists uh, there's another lady from Uganda as well who's based somewhere in Europe but you see when I was working with the couple like when I was helping to promote them there was just something not right about them and I just pulled back I remember trying to send messages even on, on, on Facebook Messenger and Johnson just literally cut me off and blocked me on messenger but then i obviously would follow what he would post he calls himself a, a, a mokiga he's from uganda and grace is from malawi so he would always share all these you know posts about him trying to change africa trying to change the mindset of africans because he had a really good job working for the commonwealth here in the uk now you can imagine somebody who has such an amazing career working for the commonwealth and then he suddenly leaves his job to run this talent management company and i believe the reason why their relationship between uh, johnson mujungu and and can see me ended was because he was stealing or cheating and can see me loads of money like obviously charge people more money and then give and can see me a little money or something like that and then the goodness is that their relationship ended on a on a on a on a sweet note not not really she didn't really announce much about him but you know Anne can see me is one person who doesn't tolerate nonsense if she just discovers that you're not doing the right thing that you know she just literally cuts you off so anyway that's a brief history of who Johnson Mujungo is and one of the things that I observed from Johnson is most of the times he would upload pictures of his son because the two of them have a son who goes to a private school now private school in the UK is not cheap it's, it's quite expensive we mean like you pay something like four thousand pounds or three thousand pounds a term for a child per, per term and a term is three months and now you can imagine them paying so much money and, and you know they try to live this lifestyle like you know they are making money they are their main thing i tried to introduce johnson Mjungu to the zambian community as well because he was trying to bring lots of zambians like say zambian artists from zambia and mampi was his first artist that he tried to bring here to the uk 
so all those things like you know i had just observed okay you know you want me to work with you you want me to help you but you're not willing to even give me even a penny you know in as much as i don't do promotion for a living but when i promote something i really try by all means to make sure that everybody hears about it about it and i'm a very good promoter when it comes to music i'm sure you've observed by now that even certain music that are not even known but because I'm sharing the music in my videos you can identify oh there's a, a musician like this one that's how much I love promoting musicians Johnson Mujungu had been posting obviously his son on, 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 on social media now I lost touch with them since 2015 they cut me off I we, are, we basically cut each other off so they blocked me in 2015 and five years down the line I receive a message and the message shocks me and at the same time i'm thinking they can do it these guys stole an amount of hundred and twenty thousand pounds hundred and twenty thousand pounds how did they manage to steal this money Johnson is an IT professional and he intercepted an email that was being sent to uh, a person, a British person who had, had inherited a lot of money from, I don't know whether it's the grandparents or the mom or the dad, and that email was asking them to send the bank details to, that email was basically the lawyers sending their bank details to this person. Now this person received an email <laughs> these guys are more than 419 received an email from johnson pretending to be the lawyers and that email is what the person used to send money to uh the lawyers so when this person transferred the money he thought he had transferred the money to the lawyers. Now, a few days later, the lawyers say, we haven't received any money from you. That was in 20, this happened in 2017. And when the lawyers checked, there was no money. And this person checked that there was no money. The person contacted the police. So these are the details I received. And those details belong to Grace Mujungu's account. <laughs> Why do women do these things for love? Why? why you mean you can't correct your husband that what you're doing is wrong and and you know when when i when i when i just you know got the whole story when i read the whole story and, and i saw that it was grace who received the money and when she received the money they started transferring the money to different accounts from 2017 18 19 20 four years later so the police have just been investigating them investigating them and then johnson was convicted was last week she too, the wife was also convicted last week. And it got me thinking, do men who are corn artists, uh, especially from Africa, for example, do they go after women who are not from their country? Because I've seen many women from different countries, Zimbabwe, um, Zambia, you know, being involved with huge fraudulent activities with the men from different countries i'm yet to hear that a couple from the same country have done this especially in the diaspora in the us we had a zambian woman who had collected a huge sum of money fraudulently and she was with i don't know whether it was a nigerian boyfriend i'm not sure and she managed to run away to zambia no one even knows where she is actually up to now and then we had uh, again somebody from in this country in the uk from zimbabwe who was dating a nigerian boyfriend and she managed to um collect twenty two thousand pounds from my boss's account the, the people that i help the agency that i work for and, I, and I, it just got me thinking why do women fall in love with such type of people con artists will a man who truly loves you tell you to steal money will he tell you let's find a way of stealing money it means in the first place the person has always been looking for a way to use you to steal money they are masterminders but you wouldn't see it because you are in love and that is why 
some people would never understand why some of us we are single it's because you know you you meet someone and then you realize this person wants to use you for that this person wants to use you for that and you're like ah, 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 that's not me that's not what i'm into because i believe in working i believe in doing all my things legit it it, it, it helps my conscience even when i sleep i know i have done what i needed to do correctly now <laughs> Johnson Mujungu, I was not surprised, obviously, and I read lots of posts from many people, comments where people were saying he owes people money, he would borrow money from this person, they would use stories of, you know, when we get our talent, we do this, we push our musician, and we get our show on track, we'll make money and we'll give you after the show, they don't pay people. Even the Zambians I introduced Johnson to, for them to be paid it, it was a hard time and I, I, I even felt ashamed when they would come and tell me uh, Lily Montuaco or Lily meaning your person this person has not paid us and and I felt really ashamed like ah, I thought he's running and can see me is, you know talent and and can see me gets a lot of money and, and all those things they weren't really adding up and to see Johnson's image of him being convicted and you will be in prison for two years. For what? I mean, why would you want to live a false life all in the name of trying to put up an image that you're doing well? You know, if there, there's nothing wrong with you admitting that you're not doing well. And, and this is what, what I always say about people who try to play fake lifestyle of the diaspora. They'll come on Instagram or Facebook and show you guys who are out there that they're living good and yet the jobs they do are not even proper you know jobs like they're not even jobs to even admire and that's why i come on youtube and i'll tell you i'll clean i'll cook i'll wash dishes i'll look after elderly people to raise my capital for my business that's the way life should be but you know some people exaggerate they want to live this false life they don't want to live within their means for you to take a child to a private school it means you you are making a lot of money here in the uk and you sacrificing all that money for school fees and then all these things come up to say you actually obtained hundred and twenty thousand pounds fraudulently this news is all over kent they live in Kent so the Kent police published the news even on on their Facebook page and guess what we got as blacks send him back to his country send them back cage them you know those are the words uh, uh, we were getting and then I posted on my Facebook page I was saying you know this is how we Africans get a negative image because of selfish people because of people who want to selfishly obtain money Recently, we had a Nigerian woman who was claiming benefits, housing benefits, this is benefit, and yet she lives with a man, and yet she works. Why? Because of the extra pennies. Why not do business on the side if you really, really want to make money on the extra, you know, extra money? But people would rather sit at home and be calling the government for this money, for this money, for this money. And then when you're arrested, you, you say, no, they are racist. No, they are not racist. If you work hard, nobody will knock at your door to say you've stolen money. So these guys pretended to be a talent management company that can run all these events in the UK and yet they were in debt. They borrowed money from people and then they steal money. Live within your means. There is no harm in you living within your means if it means your partner going to get a job in a care home in a hospital in an office as a receptionist and you are running your talent management or whatever company on the side there's nothing wrong but people want to show that they are doing well by leaving their jobs and then they'll be there posing talking to people oh i can give you so much if you come and perform at my event and yet the money they're even planning to give you so much they are borrowing that is the false lifestyle of diaspora. Do not, do not, never ever admire anybody on social media. I always say this, whether they're in Africa, whether they're in the diaspora. Because social media 
is more like a place where people want to show that they are successful, they are living well, and yet they are not. I was watching a, I was watching a video where I saw people who are very successful on Instagram, but they are poor in reality. White people. Very, when I say very successful, they, they go to posh restaurants, they drive all sorts of expensive cars you can think of, and yet in reality, they are poor. I was surprised. I was like, ah, so you mean even white people are doing the same? I thought it was a black problem. Where we black people, we want to show off on social media that we're successful. So these guys pretended to be successful, pretended to be living wealthy, and yet they were conning people. And their conning went as far as stealing money fraudulently, and they're calling it money laundering from somebody. And you know that the system here will catch up with you. Why should you even do that? And then they claim that they use the money to pay off their debts. Now, the people that owe money have not yet received the money. How many more people are these guys owing? And, and it's sad for the son who has to go to school and face friends and parents who will know that, look at that, this child is in this school because the parents stole money. It's, it's quite... Um, depressing and also on the children as well our actions as parents are very important because then however we act affects our children now that child's life is torn he will never see his dad for two years just because daddy wanted to prove to the world that he was successful there is no need to pretend to prove to the world that you're successful in the Zambian language, we say Malubaya Chalo Fikashana, meaning all these things that we want to acquire, they are of the world. When we are no more on this earth, these things will remain. They are just flowers of the world. But people are under pressure to show that they are successful. It doesn't work like that. Be humble. And always remember that you have nobody to prove to that you are successful except yourself. Some of us come to media to encourage you to say, look, it doesn't matter where you're starting from. You can start your own business. You can start your own YouTube channel. You can start whatever you want to do without looking down on yourself. It's a girl, Ella Matams, also known as Gelo said. And for those of you who are wondering the lipstick I'm wearing, I am wearing Nunga from Beautiful You, my own lipstick line. Amazing, right? You too can be successful on YouTube. I will be doing a video about how you can become a YouTuber separately so that you can learn on how you can become a YouTuber. Take care. Tab it, then I check up your your tab, your tab, your tab. Ah, then I check a month old tab, tab, your tab, your tab. Then I check up your your tab, tab. Ah, girl, I want you to love me for me, just as I am. Girl, I want you to take me for me.